I'm Steve Barnes from the Times Union, and we're here with Dan Smith, chef and owner of Jake Moon Restaurant and Cafe in Clarksville. One of Smith's most popular breakfast dishes is a version of Eggs Benedict that uses fish, in this case salmon. To cure his salmon, Smith sprinkles a one and a half to two pound side of fish with sugar, salt, lemon juice, black pepper, dill, and olive oil. Because it's cured and then cooked, Smith calls it salmon bacon. It's a nod to the traditional Canadian bacon on Eggs Benedict, but it's also a marketing strategy. Smith has discovered that customers who might not ask for something listed as smoked salmon or gravlax will order just about anything with the word bacon in its name. Be sure the cure is uniformly distributed across both sides of the fish, then crimp it securely inside a foil boat. It's important to leave a little foil edge all the way around because the salmon will release liquid while it's curing. Top the salmon with a weight and let it refrigerate for eight hours or overnight. When ready to prepare the dish, Drain and pat the salmon dry with a paper towel, then cut paper-thin slices with a long, narrow, flexible knife. To finish, sear briefly and add to your egg and English muffin and top with hollandaise sauce. This recipe can also be used to make traditional gravlax. Simply let the salmon cure for a full three days, slice, and serve on cooked, like lox or cold-smoked salmon.